Hi guys, welcome to this video on techmadeeasy.co.uk. Uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you a cool application for Apple iOS devices, so the iPhone, iPod Touch and the iPad like this one here. Uh, and what this application does is it allows you to control an instance of XBMC Media Center, which is why in the top right of your screen I've got a screen capture running from XBMC that's running on my computer in the next room. Uh, and what I'm going to show you, just open the app here, It'll work on any iOS devices, so not just uh, iPads, but iPod Touches and iPhones as well. And um, this represents one way you can use it. I can just press up and down here, and it will move through the options. I can select TV shows, for instance, and scroll through my menus as you normally would, using a keyboard or a uh, remote control. through that and you have uh, sort of back buttons and uh, sort of stop and pause excuse me forward and back etc um, but the way this really comes into its own is you have these other options down the bottom here uh, just set the first one here labeled artists and what this shows you is uh, all the artists um, alphabetically in your music library so you can scroll through these you go okay I think I'll listen to this it'll show you all the uh, the albums by that artist including the album artwork so you select an album, it will show you all the tracks on that album, and then you can go ahead and select a song. And in a couple of seconds it starts playing it on XBMC. I'll just pause that, and just show you that on the iPad or, or your iPhone you can view the information about the song while it's playing. Just come out of that. You can also view TV show library, so you see all the artwork for all your TV shows. You just select one, it will show you all the seasons. Select a season, it will show you all the episodes in that season, including album artwork, sort of uh, thumbnails for you, and gives you the, the name of the episode and the uh, episode number. And you can just select one of those. And it will begin playing. And again, you can hit the little eye button in the corner, it will show you the, all the information about the episode, when it was first aired, the, uh, the name of the episode, which episode number it is, and a short bio there. You can also look at your movie library, you get a bit more information. The view is slightly different, so you get the album artwork or the DVD artwork. Uh, you also get a quick bio of the, uh, the DVD. And you get uh, star ratings, how long it is, what sort of genre it is. And again, you just select one, and it begins playing. So there's nothing else to it really, and then once you're there you can select I. It will show you all the information. There's no there's no uh, DVD cover downloaded for this one. Um, all this information is downloading. It downloads it dynamically from your XBMC library. So once it's downloaded, you won't have this thing where the artwork is slowly popping up. It'll all be there, ready for you to view it as you scroll through. You also have an albums button at the bottom again for your music library. So if you know you want to listen to a specific album or your albums have got many artists on them, this is a quicker way to to navigate through your albums. It downloads all the cover art from your uh, XPMC library. And uh, the last option down here, More, just gives you some more things you can browse by. So you can browse music by genre. You can just view all the songs. You can view all your podcasts. You can look at your video and music sources independently and your playlists. You can look at your pictures. And Remote is where we started with this picture here. Um, so that's all this is. It's a great little app from uh, the people that make XBMC. It's available on the iTunes store. Um, it's not free. I think it was around £2. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's a great little app if you have an iPod Touch or an iPod or an, I or an iPad, sorry, or an iPhone. It's a great way for you to browse your media library. A lot of the um, other applications give you this remote feature, but they don't give you the feature where you can browse through your library on the device itself. So thanks for watching this. Please uh, post any comments in the field below. I'll try and answer any questions. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching. Please check out the website.